Okay, so for this project, I decided to go over the vocabulary overview guide. For background information, I am choosing to do this in a junior English class, so grade 11. And the text that I have chosen is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. So, what is the vocabulary overview guide? Well, I learned about this in our textbook, Classroom Strategies for Interactive Learning. And essentially, it is a graphic organizer that includes a meaningful clue in addition to rich contextual information. This strategy conditions students to be sensitive to Tier 2 words and Tier 3 words as they read. Also, it is a six-step strategy. The first step is a, the selection of words that are connected to key themes and ideas. An example in The Great Gatsby would be bootlegging. The second is a knowledge reading activity. So students go through and they mark words as K, H, S, or N. K is know it. H has a hunch. S is seen it but not sure. And N is never heard of it before today. Next, the students will read it again, paying close attention to the context surrounding the words. And then we will ask them to explain in terms of what they know or what they think they might know. And what we want to do then is embed the words in class as much as possible. We want to give students the opportunity to see these words in action. And finally, we want to give the students the opportunity to choose their own words to do this with. Alright, so why use this strategy? The words that I have chosen for this is that it helps develop ownership of the new words. It also provides opportunity to build knowledge and connection. And this graphic organizer provides structure for keeping track of words. And knowledge is gained gradually through repeated exposure. And the students are more motivated to learn personalized vocabulary words. Alright, so my example, I chose bootlegging. The clue is that it is illegal. For the explain portion, this is where the students would put their input, and it says, when you participate in the illegal selling of alcohol, in my use, since I wanted to tie it back to the great Gatsby, would be, Gatsby was known for his involvement in bootlegging activities. So Gatsby is known for the illegal selling of alcohol. All right, so how is this gonna help my students? I chose an excerpt from uh, the great Gatsby, and the excerpt that I chose is, By midnight, the hilarity has increased. A celebrated tenor had sung in Italian, and a notorious contralto had sung in jazz. And between the numbers, people were doing stunts all over the garden, while happy, vacuous bursts of laughter rose towards the summer sky. So, first thing that they're going to do, identify unknown words. They are probably going to identify vacuous. And then what they're going to do is they're going to use context clues to decipher the meaning. They're going to reread and they're going to gain further understanding of this scene and what this word means. And this graphic organizer is going to help them because it will give them the steps in order of what they need to do. Alright, so how am I going to assess uh, their knowledge of these vocabulary words? Easiest thing to do is just talk about it. I want to hold classroom discussions, and I want to start in small groups so they can gain familiarity with it, maybe even partners and then to small groups. But I want to have a discussion about these words so I can see where they're going, and I can walk around and join any discussion that I want. I also think it would be helpful to just check the graphic organizer to see if they are going on the right track, and if they're not, then I can put them back on the right track. But easiest way to do it is just hold a discussion and check their graphic organizer. That is it. There's my work cited page.